everyone. Welcome to the next installment of Anime Video Game Fun Time with your hosts. <laughs> God, shut up, she told me to start. I know. <laughs> it, it was it's... great. It, you did good until until I was like when you're trying to, uh, well, you know, hosting this. And then I... That was yeah. when I started. <laughs> <laughs> I did good until I talked. All right, it's Beautiful. Fonzie. It's, it's Alex. Alex. You both, all right, yeah. I don't care, moving right. on. <laughs> this took Today. a lot longer than it was supposed to. We're 30 seconds in already, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alright, today we have a couple fucking... Uh, hi, hi, Jacob's in the background again. Yep. Yeah. You see? Hi, Jacob. Hey, everyone says hi. Fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> he says, what's up? It's great. Right. We have a couple topics to talk about in the past two weeks. We have Club Nintendo shutting down. The PlayStation Vita losing YouTube and anything else that's Google. Uh, new Rock Band information. New Pokemon tournament information. The Evil yeah. lineup. Metal Gear Rising 2 and some of the shit that people have talked about. Uh, in anime, we have Kill a Kill coming to Toonami. Uh, Higurashi coming to Vita and PS3. And Dengeki Gunko... Yeah, try right. Dengeki Gunko uh, fighting Climax coming to America. And the passing of, uh, of someone that's... Very important. Yeah. We'll talk about that later. All right. That's going to be the last one to talk about. Yeah. Probably. It, We're going to leave on a very bad note. <laughs> just like just like last time. God damn it. I don't, even, I don't even remember how the last one left. left it ended off. with the it ended with the with the guy who did the voice of Snake. Oh yeah. Oh, God damn it. Yeah. Okay. All right. This uh, this is going to end bad. <laughs> okay. All right. So That'd Club Nintendo sad. shutting down. Fuck. Let's see. I believe Club Nintendo is giving like still doing the games for one last time for February. Uh, until uh, all right, let's see. Club I think Nintendo it's closing program, down like later. Yeah, yeah. This all right. Club Nintendo program dis, uh, discontinuation schedule. Uh, let's see. After products release after uh, January twentieth, which already passed, are not eligible for registration You're with Club Nintendo. Demo. March 31st is the last day you oh, can earn coins, and June 30th is the last day to redeem coins or access your Club Nintendo account. When? June. Club, yeah, Club Nintendo will shut down officially on June 30th Fuck. at 11.59 at p.m. Okay, till June. Wait. I gotta go redeem because my it's coins. A, since because it's June... Let me see this. Let me see this. Does that does that mean? Reload. <laughs> Waste that to like one clip. Well, anyways, because um, since it says June, does that mean we have one more time to get a chance to get platinum member or gold? We have does until it, we have until March thirty first. We have until uh, uh, March thirty first to get elite status. What does that matter right now? Uh, you, you, get, you probably get a free game by the end of the year. You oh, become gold okay. or uh, elite, gold, Actually, platinum, or elite. I think I'm. I think I'm gold right now. I have a bunch yeah. of games that, that I never did, so I could hardly get to platinum if I did them all. I only need a hundred more coins to become all platinum. So, uh, wait, we still. Next page. I'm going to buy like a cup, a couple new PlayStation, uh, Nintendo, no, Nintendo no, no. games. And just get it over with. All right. Yeah. I'll just, way, I'll just redeem the games that I have now that I haven't shield, redeemed. Because I, because like, because like, I obeyed my Club Nintendo recently just for Smash because I because I wanted that soundtrack. You're gonna die. And, I'll and, get you uh, more. and the Mewtwo. I'll put Got another the... one down for you. Oh my god. Hi, Jacob. He's too busy playing. Destiny. Yeah. That's what. I thought. Uh, anyway, uh, what games have you guys been playing recently? Uh. Honestly, I was playing Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth, like the first one. Because you have and the second one now? Yeah, exactly. But, but you want to beat that one first? Honestly, I had to play the first one first just to get to the second one. Don't, don't kill the nice it's been over, it's been over a year since the fucking game came out and you oh. didn't even beat it. Mm -hmm. I know. For me, it's just oh, because wait, I didn't have time. Wait, yeah, don't wait. Kill the Rebirth night. One came out over a year ago. 
almost. No, I thought it was like three months. Really? That's yeah. Not like it. September. Yeah. No, I August. Guess so. Yeah. August. Right, like me, late August, August, right? Uh, let me check. Let me check. Wikipedia, you are my friend for now. And then, I get it. No. and then it tells you that it has special guest character, Darth Vader, and then you realize that there's something wrong. Oh, you mean Soul Calibur 5? <laughs> Let's see. Now you're going to have to pay I already mentioned Rebirth 2, me, Sisters Generations. Me. That came out. It. Oh, that's coming. Oh, it's coming to Windows. I'll probably nice. get it on that. Yeah. I think I saw someone playing it once. Look on yeah, Windows, it's, actually. It's it's on a it's on Steam right now. I think it's only fourteen bucks. I oh my reach god! Fourteen <laughs> bucks. How cheap? Yeah. Hint hint. <laughs> I feel really shitty buying my games at like full price. <laughs> this is why I love Steam. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm I'm checking Steam right now, so I have to wait till I fucking sign in and everything. Uh. This. So, Alex, what have you been uh, playing? I hit the floor. Um, I've been playing a little bit of Tales of Heart, I guess. Very casually, but I haven't been doing a lot of gaming still. Lately, I've just been slouching off at everything. I got it, um, I bought a new game today that I'll hopefully get into you soon. Like in two years? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I got uh, Castlevania Order of I Cell still. Assilians, yeah. I believe. What? The one with Shinoa. Oh, whatever. whatever. I, I can't pronounce these names. So, <laughs> you know. Hint, hint. Yeah, I cannot pronounce names for shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know. It's a Castlevania game. Yeah, Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 1 for PC is $14. And that's not on. And it's not on sale. That's. Oh no, it is on sale. It's fifty percent off. Oh, I'm all right to then. Cut. Beautiful. <laughs> Tell ends, us about it later. It ends. Oh, the promotion ends in the fifth. Great. Take out of cart. <laughs> yeah. No. Nope. Go overpriced. So <laughs> <laughs> all so all my fucking trading cards. <laughs> uh, let's see. I've been playing. Uh, last week, I picked up Pokemon Omega Ruby. Uh, I've I have so far have a total of 153 in my Pokedex, and I have no fucking gym badges. How beautiful! I've been There's doing no nothing but yeah. I've been doing nothing but Wonder Trading. <laughs> the magic of Wonder Trading. <clears throat> Two fucking Groudons. Wow! Everyone's giving up their Groudons that fast. Yeah. Yeah. Probably because uh, it's Uber tier, so like no one uses it. True. Also, uh, earlier today, I got a package from a gaming website that I happily ordered something off the internet. I got it from a. Uh, I got Final Fantasy Anthology, which comes with Final Fantasy Five and Six for PlayStation One. It came complete with a fucking hard to find soundtrack. And I got Mega Man X Four. <laughs> I totally wasted under thirty dollars, and that's no with heavy. shipping and everything. They're a uh, they're a Nevada based company, surprisingly. Hmm. Yeah, they're, from, they're yeah they're in Sparks, Nevada. Their website's called uh, BitReplay.com. Think of it as a uh, Abraham. Think of it as, as like WePlay, but cheaper. So check them out if you want to. Their service is good. I like them. They're not our sponsor. We still have no sponsors. <laughs> Someday we'll get a sponsor. And it, won't be a, game sponsors. and it won't be a totally fake named thing that we come up with so we feel better about ourselves. Totally won't be sponsored by something like, you know, bootylicious.com. <laughs> <laughs> the only place where you can get your bootylicious items for a very cheap price. It's just like regular keychains. Don't worry, they're all used. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> we make sure to test our product. <laughs> They're key for excellent service. <laughs> uh, other than that, I've just been playing Guilty Gear because fucking tournament that's coming soon that we'll talk about later. Uh, we all own Vitas, don't we? Yes. Yeah. Are we gonna start? So, how often do you guys use YouTube or uh, maps? All the time. Uh, never. You never use your fucking maps. No, I have a phone for that. Okay, true. <laughs> All right. So Sony announced on Wednesday that it's ending its support 
uh, of Vita apps. YouTube's apps is gonna go away. It'll no. Uh, it'll. It's oh, gone from the. It. It's gone from the app store. But Maybe. it'll only be supported until it'll stop working after April twentieth. So shit. Uh, let's see. Uh, also, Maps is getting is gone, and uh, in March two thousand fifteen, uh, we're gonna get an update that'll get rid of the Near app, which no one fucking touches. I did, <laughs> like. I, it's funny how like I see near often when I'm like doing stuff like on my Vita, and like I forget for like ten seconds. Like, what the hell is this shit? Yeah. Apparently, you get some items in some games, but that's all you fucking get. And even then, the I games that fucking work with it are very limited. Head. So like, yeah. well, what about like that? Like, if, like if they would have worked on having more supporting games, maybe it wouldn't have been bad. Yeah. Abraham, your thoughts? Um, honestly, I think it's meh. That's just it. I feel like it could have been good. Yeah. The fucking YouTube app was really good. <laughs> it it, it works guess... smooth and I enjoyed it. I use it every day just for crap, you know? Yeah. So I was bummed when that was announced. Oh, my bad. I saw people running now. Dude, that's so why I told you to stop talking to other people. I'm doing a podcast. <laughs> and what stop if fighting. I get sponsored, huh? <laughs> stop fighting. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Abraham, you just picked up Rock Band. You cannot have right? at this. That is correct. I just picked up Rock Band, bought two keyboards and a mic. No guitar, so you're f so you're pretty much just stuck with Rock Band Three. That is correct, except with mics. I could yep. sing. I have a beautiful singing voice. <laughs> Our band is called Alex and the Magnums. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's true. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Rock Band, Rock Band Survey teases new Rock Band experience. So, uh, they have a survey and they're gonna uh, Harmonics put it out and they're showing. They're gonna ask. They're pretty much just asking people, "What would you like to see in a, if like a new Rock Band can come out?" What's also weird, Rock Band also just came out with new DLC after like two fucking years. Honestly. The survey is probably not going to work as much just because most of the songs that we want is on the DLC. Yeah, but you never know when you can uh, transfer DLC through like the older gen to the newer ones. They've done a, they've done shit like that before. Hell, the Rock Band 1 DLC is also compatible with Rock Band 3. I am right. No way. Yeah, no, most of my fucking songs are like, mo most of my songs same. are for Rock Band 1 and 2. Two clips on your primary, no heavy. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I told you that last. Uh, so. But I am freaking far behind. This gun has a lot of ammo. I have uh, like most of my abilities on auto rifle. Glad to see uh, Jacob and Destiny are carrying this podcast to victory. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> uh, uh, moving on, Pokin tournament. Put on your mic. At least listen to what we're saying. Pokey tournament, Pokin tournament. Yep. Uh, Pokin tournament. New characters shown: Gardevoir, Pikachu, Suicune. Uh, and gameplay also shown. And there's also a location yeah, test, which shows a very stuff. strange ass controller. Look, observe, because you're not paying attention. You just ran out when people were dying. Uh, are are the, you ready? Uh, the controller looks like a very fucking. If you guys ever played this rare ass fucking arcade machine it's called a nintendo super system arcade it what the controllers are were literally big ass super nintendo controllers this is what the controller looks like in a pokin tournament so are the buttons also huge or yeah is it colorful yeah sounds fun yeah so yeah let's see d-pad uh l and r buttons a start button and B A Y X button, so it's, nice pretty much like a, it's pretty much just like a big ass Super Nintendo controller. Coming in middle, dodge, 
It'll, it'll be funny as fuck if Nintendo does uh, the GameCube thing and just release a Super Nintendo adapter for it. Uh. Uh, yeah, alright, let's see. Uh, with the D-pad, character movement, hitting a direction twice uh, with a short step. Y button is a weak attack, X button is a stronger attack, B jump, A Pokemon move, which that could be like... Thunderbolt, like thunder quick yeah, attack, that kind double of shit. team. The L button is summon support Pokemon. R button is a guard. Oh, L and R is a burst mode. I had a throwing knife and it didn't throw. Oh my god, now it did. Burst mode. Knife, yeah, like, uh, so probably like a burst like in uh, Guilty Gear or like some of the Arc System right, I'll, I'll games. Do, I'll do, I'll do. Uh, a and B does a grab. I X missed, and A does a block attack. So. <laughs> it like jumped over his shoulder. Uh, so... Are you guys looking forward to Pokemon Tournament? Because they say it might be coming for Wii U. Damn, don't kill the Knights. Leave them almost dead, bro. I don't care. I play it. Oh, he said he didn't do it. I don't know who gave Dumb bitches. <laughs> I'm currently raging against Desti Destiny because other people think I did some things. Are you playing Destiny 2? Uh, most likely. Because it's one of those weekly, nightly raids, <sighs> last yeah. moment. Any orcs? I am sorry. Yes. Uh, don't worry. We should really plan out the times we we do this better. Yeah, we should. Honestly, like first thing, don't only. play goddamn Destiny. <laughs> oh yeah. Special, Guess what? Special. I'm playing Destiny while reading the light novel and talking we'll to talk you guys about on it later. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, speaking okay. of fighting games, next up, well, Very Evo's coming cheap. soon. Sort of I'm gonna have to do a lot of oh, editing in this name. fucking podcast. <laughs> well, I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Evo Championship Series coming to Vegas again yeah, July don't. 17th to 19th at the Bally's Paris Hotel and Casino Convention Center thing. Games this time Ultra Street Fighter 4 again. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, again. Super Smash Bros. Melee, again. And then six different games. Beautiful. Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, Guilty Gear x Art Sign, Persona 4, Arena Ultimax, right. Killer Instinct, right, Mortal Kombat side. X, and Tekken 7. Let's... No, no, no. Yeah, uh, save for just three. I'm actually looking for... I'm actually really looking forward to uh, EVO this year, because I... Entering, like, three, three different fucking nah. tournaments at the same yeah, time. Technically four. Good luck. Uh, no, we'll you. be there cheering you on. No, oh, you'll be there playing Tekken 7. <laughs> Aaron, put on a mic so you can hear us. Yeah, I'll, be, I'll be there in spirit. You have two mics on your head, man. <laughs> Maybe. Fine, I'll stop playing. Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> All right, I'll stop playing Destiny. This is, oh live, this is live video of Abraham. Well, playing Destiny. I'm Abraham. fucked up. I yeah. hear you guys from the mic saying that, oh, blah, 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 and yeah, such. You said don't wait, uh, and you ran out there and wait. Come on, man. <laughs> oh you said God. you heard. My footage of Abraham apparently just Raging. playing really bad at Destiny. <laughs> it's mostly because I have teammates that are not patient and or like really hardcore. You're playing with Isaac and Oscar, aren't you? No, Oscar, Jacob, and. They're friends. Oh. He's, he has two people. They're friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Ultra Street Fighter Four is might be fun. I play Guile, so I can't wait to get my ass kicked by everyone else. Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. Abraham, are you gonna? Th are you thinking of joining the for Smash Brothers? Honestly, I just hope there's no Diddy Kongs. That's all. He's the fucking most. He's the top tier character right now. There's gonna. He's gonna be fucking up there. The moment you see like a Diddy Kong player, all right, I, I forfeit. Screw it. Yeah. There uh, are other things money I can do for the, for the ten minutes of me getting my ass kicked. I um, want first match to be Diddy Kong. Probably. I think uh, I'll get into the Persona one. And see how far I get. Face me in my yeah. kanji. Um, uh, no, never mind. <laughs> you know, uh, that's money that I could put towards something else. Uh, There's merchandise is there. Yeah. I hope that's you bring over like 300 bucks though. 
<laughs> ah, just like with Sabacom. Yeah. Uh, Ultimate <laughs> Wars is Capcom 3. Have you guys ever played that game at all, Lord? No. Ultimate. Wait, wait. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Yeah, the game that came out in like 2009. Yes. Uh, I had to play with Isaac, but then, like, he, he. It's not fun with him. His Dante I, and shit? Um, Virgil. Yeah, that's the. Yeah, ugh, fuck Virgil. I had it for Vita. Y yeah, and that game's now fucking hard to find on the Vita. I know, I was surprised. Uh, Super Smash Brothers Melee is back. This game is over 10 fucking years old and it's fucking still played like. Godlike. Uh, yeah. I can't play Melee anymore. It's become not fun. It's really <laughs> not fucking fun. I'm. Ugh. I can't. I can't fucking play Smash. I can't play Melee. I can play Smash Brothers and Wii U with no fucking problem. But when it's Melee, fucking all I see is fucking wave dashing assholes that play nothing but fucking either Marth or fucking Fox. It's ugh. it pisses me off a lot. <laughs> and that's why that every time too. I play on the Wii U by using Mo Fox or Falco, I get my anal rate face on. We just target you. <laughs> yes. You wave dashing asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I, I only wave dash one time. That's it. Bullshit for life. Bullshit. <laughs> uh, so the only melee. person I could wave dash, the result was obvious. <laughs> well, it's not that good, but you know. So uh, melee, it's still a thing oh, for some I reason. Ugh, I. Uh, God damn it! I just. Uh, Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, uh, I really, I like this Smash Brothers game. I really do. Yeah. Same. Honestly, I still have mine, and I will never trade it in. No, Alex, thank probably, you for your copy. <laughs> <laughs> probably because the fucking prices are going to skyrocket in a couple years, just like fucking Melee Jesus is. You don't have to hold on to it. The only Smash game that I own right now, because because of reasons I have to get rid of my other ones. I thought you still have the Brawl one for Project M. Uh, no. I, uh, my, uh, my Brawl broke. Yeah. Cause like, cause, cause like, I was playing in, like, on the Wii with, with the GameCube controller. And my dog would run in and it would, like, trip on the friggin' GameCube wire. For, cause it didn't learn, I guess. I, I, I don't know. So, like, it just smashed my Wii and the disc inside. Ugh. So. That does not sound fun. Yeah, yeah, and I never got around to buying an, another Smash. Yeah, For all, still, I mean, yeah, whatever. It's still like, even then, st it's still like 50, 40 to 50 bucks. Yeah, I mean, screw it, you know. All like, of them are the still 40 anyway. to 50 bucks. <laughs> I found a place where it's like 30, but I'm not telling. Well, we can probably find it cheaper on eBay. Again, it's a pretty, Smash Brothers is pretty common. It's just a lot of people want it, so. It's a and a lot game. of copies are gone. Uh, Blaze Blue was replaced by Guilty Gear X Art Sign. I love this fucking Guilty Gear game. I don't like it as much as uh, X2 because the fucking character roster isn't as big as X2. We've all played it. I love this game. Abraham, your thoughts on Guilty Gear X Art? Casual. <laughs> Alex? Everything around you is I like blind. it. Did you finish the story yet or no? Nope. No. <laughs> Some of the old. <laughs> I played through um, arcade mode with Soul Bad Guy, and I found out how much, how how bullshitty it is fighting boss Ranmathal. Yeah, f you know what's the easiest thing? You, the easiest way you can defeat her is literally when she does her fucking like laser death, of, laser beam of death. Jump over just her jump head, then beat the shit out of her from behind. Yeah, I know. Uh, no, just just go into instant kill mode, and right when she fucking like gets out, that's when you fucking do the instant kill. I did not it's think of that. Damn. <laughs> Made my life so much easier. Uh, replacing uh, King oh, of Fighters oh, 13 is another Arc System games, a game that we love all. Well, I, I know me and Alex play a lot. Used to play a lot. Persona 4 Arena, Ultimax. Ah yes. Uh, <laughs> I I got the I played the game for a week, then I just dropped it. Uh, played it for a month. I beat the story and dropped it. 
I haven't even, you know, I haven't even touched the story. All I've been played it has been online and arcade, and arcade holding a random mode is really good. Hmm. Played story and just regular arcade and then play a little bit versus, then I was like, nope, never again. Yeah, because you guys keep getting your asses candid. No, actually, I was kicking Isaac's ass, and then later on, he he practiced it mostly on the Xbox, and then I was like, nope, done, fuck it, no more. <laughs> so who do you guys play, uh, used to play on Persona 4? Uh, um, the regular one or the new Ultimax? Yukiko. Um, yeah, whichever, it's older, honestly. old one is Yukiko and Teddy and Ma uh, Mi Mitsuru. Uh, oh. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I stick with the best kanji, shadow kanji, and <laughs> oh, that uh, that awkward silence cannot be ignored. Uh, it, was, it was like ten <laughs> seconds of like just awkward silence. Uh, I love shadow kanji. He's he's so fun to play, especially when like you win and like he fucking does the gay shit. It just totally gay. I, I I know, but like the first time I played last year at Evo, it, that just got like a big ass <laughs> right. fucking like. Group of people laughing their ass off. <laughs> it was that good. Yeah. So I'm entering that one too. Killer Instinct. This is one of the few games that I really. That's the only reason I would get an Xbox One for is just to play Killer Instinct. The game is surprisingly fun for how uh, complex it can be. Honestly, when I first played it, 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 it looks easy to comprehend. It's just that you need practice, like, as in knowing the buttons and what does what as a function. It's an easy to pick up game, hard to master. Pretty much. I mean, I saw a friend and it's like, Jago Shadow Kick, and then I was like, ah, nope. <laughs> Next up is the two games that haven't been released yet Mortal Kombat X yeah, or 10. I said 10. I heard it was X, but it's pretty much the 10th Mortal Kombat. Have you played, uh, have you guys played Mortal Kombat 9? No. Didn't want it to. It's, it's stiff. I played Mortal Kombat X at the PlayStation Experience. It's, it, it's, it, it's fun. If you like Mortal Kombat, you'll like Mortal Kombat 10, X. And... Finally, a game that none of us has played ever. Tekken 7 is coming to Evo. They're bringing actual fucking arcade machines to Evo. Uh, yeah, like he said it won't. Beautiful machines. Yeah. So beautiful. Japan uh, only. Curse them. Yeah. Why do you make such beautiful things? So, hopefully, uh, some of the characters will be playable. It'll be the first time we get uh, America gets to play uh, uh, Tekken 7, so that's interesting. I know me and Alex were talking about it not too long ago. Tekken 7? Yeah. Mm. About, Lucky about Lucky and Chloe and shit? Yeah, I was... Yeah. Because <laughs> when I first assumed that she wasn't coming, I was, yeah. like, kind of bummed about that because people were bitching over something stupid as hell. Like, then they're complaining was... about a girl with cat ears when it's a game that has kangaroos, boxing dinosaurs, and, like, Kung Panda. Fu Panda. There we go. Yep. So stupid. So are you guys looking for uh, forward to Evo this year? Yeah, somewhat. A lot of people were pissed off that Skullgirls is not uh, in the list. Wait, wait, wait. Skullgirls is or isn't? Isn't. No. Oh, it's okay. It's not. They're probably going to be like in the Mad Cats booth again like it last year. Fucking bad. last year was fucking insane <laughs> watching people play like Skullgirls really fucking good and it scares the shit out of me again. <laughs> It sucks when, like, I bought, like, the original Skullgirls, like, when it came out, and, like, I never got good. <laughs> but I was there from, like, the get-go. <laughs> Hipster. <laughs> anyway, I was moving there. on. <laughs> moving on. Early, uh, early, uh, this weekend, there was a pay game show. PlayStation was showing something special. They showed a number two. And everyone was uh, saying it was Metal Gear Rising Revengeance 2, The Revenge of Raiden, Rules of Nature, Ride the Lightning, Jack the Ripper Edition. Beautiful. Yes, it's going to be that. <laughs> okay, then. Can you repeat that <laughs> ten times fast? No, Metal Gear, no, no, Metal no, Gear no, Rising no. Revengeance 2, The Revenge of Raiden, Rules oh, of Nature, Ride the Lightning, Jack the Ripper Edition. Alright, then. Good enough. We're done here. <laughs> 
and One then minute, Jeff Ke- and then Jeff Keeley fucking says slice that rumor no Metal Gear Rising two tease at the Pay Game Show. It's really just a number two with the fucking it, with the font of Metal Gear Rising two. Ah. Yeah. So it was a joke. Maybe who knows? It's fucking Kojima, and yeah, knowing how right. fucking knowing that the Phantom Pain was. T- Teased to be not a Metal Gear Solid game, and then became a Metal Gear Solid game because Kojima's an asshole. But uh, he's God. I know. Praise <laughs> Kojima. <laughs> I know he's God. Damn it. That's why I buy. It. That's why I have nine copies of Metal Gear Solid Three. <laughs> he's not even joking. I can confirm this. <laughs> I know. I saw his room. It's like shit full of them. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid Three is so good, even though it's not my favorite Metal Gear. It's my favorite. <laughs> Fight me. Uh, but I, I think my favorite is four. <laughs> four is up there. I really like four, but I mean, you, I know it's, I know, I mean, I know it's kind of like a movie, but I enjoyed it. It's the best fucking movie I ever played. Yeah. <laughs> it that like that could a lot of people find that as a fucking criticism. I find it as a compliment. Because you know it was story based, and I enjoy that. Yeah. Yep. All the cutscenes, beautiful. Uh, let's see, movie to, I mean, cutscene to gameplay. It still looks pretty good for a game from 2008. Like, it, it, it's aged pretty well. <laughs> it was good. I can't, like, in the video of the documentary of the game, it's supposed to be the last one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's at the end of uh, yeah. Metal Gear Solid. It's the end of the saga, in a way. That's mm. why we have fucking prequels between Metal Gear, like between Metal Gear Solid Three and fucking. Because no Metal one could Solid. do it right, other than yeah. Kojima himself. I'm surprised how well everything's fitting into place, though. Like Here's a it- planning. I bet yeah. you that Kojima actually wrote this all down in the in the storybook, and he's like, "I should make this into a game." And then later on, he just cuts the story like bits and pieces. With an actual katana sword. Yes. <laughs> so, Metal Gear Rising, what you guys think of that game? Fun beat em up. Uh, made by Platinum Games, the same guys who did Bayonetta. So that's beat em up. Ha- hack and slash. Yeah. The one thing. <laughs> Doesn't the best matter. Thing to, but everyone knows the best thing to come out of that is uh, Rules of Nature, the best fucking song ever made. Still has it in my iPods. Yep, I have the soundtrack. Love that. It's so, it sucks because Walmart edition. This, yeah, uh, <laughs> that's why actually I bought two copies of Metal Gear Rising. One to have the soundtrack, and the other, one, and the other one to have the the cover without the fucking Walmart edition I'll thing. I'll give you a heart. It would have been fine if that was the sticker, but it's fucking printed into the fucking box. I know. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Like when you go to GameStop, and then like you see like a, a used copy of the Walmart edition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hopefully, Metal Gear Rising: Revengeance Two: The Revenge of Raiden, Rules of Nature, Right, the Lightning Jack, the Ripper edition might be a thing. I really hope so because I really enjoyed Metal Gear Rising One. All right. Time for the anime section, right? Correct. Alright, what have you guys been watching, reading? Abraham, you go. Alright. I actually have a list of what I was watching. Oh, no. (laughs) Alright, let's see. I was watching Absolute Duo. Going through Assassination Classroom. Then Death Parade. Then after that, Dog Days. Dorara, Isuka, Kuroko uh, Basket, Log Horizon, uh, Seiken Sukai no World Break, Shigatsu wa Kimi something, uh, Shin Mai Mao no Testament, Tokyo Ghoul, New Day, of course, Unlimited Fat Veneer, and World Trigger. Uh, huh. Uh, which one's the best? Which one's the best thing you've been? You mean the one the that one? like I'm hoping for mostly? Yeah. Dorora. Huh. Either that or um, Second Sukai No World Break. Alex, any anime? Or I've anime you've been 
just been watching uh, Log Horizon and uh, Assassination Classroom. I was going to check out more, but that's all that I've really been watching. I am disappointed in you. I've just been lazy, all right? You, you know, no, no, no. I'm not disappointed. I'm actually glad he's spending something else and fucking wasting all his time on like 900 anime. <laughs> Here's okay. Here's how this is gonna go. Abraham with over like nine thousand anime in him, fucking Alex with like the three, and me with the only one that I've been watching, Yu Yu Shiki. Speaking of, uh, that anime, if you ever fucking watch it, I swear to God, that shit will give you diabetes. It's that fucking. It's that fucking adorable. That anime will give you diabetes. I believe it. Uh, it's a slice of life anime, which I, for some reason, I'm a sucker for that. Part Yuri, that's pretty much a plus. So, yeah. Uh, All right then. Should we move on? Yeah. You're done, like selling your soul to the devil. <laughs> yeah. Not well, not yet. You know, we just explained of what we were watching, but not what we were reading. Don't. All right, hey, Abraham. Wait. Wait. Abraham, what have you been tell reading? them the one light novel. Alright, I'm leaving it to you. I'm reading it too. Light novel? Should we really yeah. do this? Well, I, actually, I think... This is like a short summary, alright? I'll let you do it. Alright. Which one? Plus Anyone? You have the, the Tensai one, I guess. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> the light novel, uh, novel of Mushuko Tensei. Honestly, I was reading the manga because this guy, Alex, he, he showed it to me and I, I pretty enjoyed it. And then it, it got so good that I really want to know more. Only problem is I had to read a light novel. It's been a long time since I read a, lo a light novel. Yeah, me too. Uh -huh. I learned Last time I read a light this... novel was for Dot Hack. Like Same. seven years ago. <laughs> I learned that this novel has over like 200 chapters. That's not a fucking novel. That's not a light novel. That's a fucking full on. J that's a fucking Lord of the Rings novel right there. It's on volume 22 right now. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm patiently waiting for volume 23. <laughs> well, anyways, the light novel is about a neat. Alex, who is 34 years old, and apparently he called himself fat, ugly, and a disgrace to mankind, as you may say. And for a Japanese person, that's, that's a regular American diet. That's what he's considered. Yes. That's not what he calls himself. Wait, Japanese fat or considered. American fat? Uh, I guess Japanese. I don't know. Because, uh, um, like, he said that there's no, like, like he... Never heard of the language of Japanese in that Wait, world. What well, are you talking anyways. about? No, it's in like in chapter two or no, chapter uh, one when they're explaining like about his language, like the language he's trying to hear. It's not I think nothing he Japanese. Means, I, I think he means when he was still a neat. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. What the fuck is a neat? Um, you are not in education, oh, oh, training, that, or like, or so like employment. You don't put it in so technically, you're there, just sitting on the sofa. Up. Okay. Imagine Patrick Starr. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's see. His family dis like disband him. His mother, father die. His his siblings doesn't really care about him because like he doesn't do shit. Mm -hmm. uh, so they kicked him out into the street. He becomes homeless. Uh, let's see. Then he sees these um. Middle schoolers. High Who schoolers. Are, right. It says junior high, so. Whatever. I don't know. I don't know what you guys considered over there. So don't yell at me. And he he fantasized about like his old times. He should have done better. Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Same old crap. Uh, let's see. A truck came out of nowhere. Guy is still sleeping on the wheel. Yeah, um, it's heading Not sure towards. Why, but whatever. Yeah, <laughs> head towards to the to the junior high school students, and he saves them by sacrificing himself. 
He pushes them out of the way, then gets hit by the car and dies. Oh, no, okay. It sounds like uh, you're taking a little too long to explain this. I am sorry. Like later on, like, um, apparently he thought himself that he was in a coma, blah, blah, blah. Uh, he later learned that he's been reincarnated to another world. Good job. And still retain just like, his memory. Just like you, just like you, you hawk a show in a way. In a so, way, yeah, but in se except for going back to the first He's reborn in a new body. fantasy world. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, he's like a newborn baby, but like with his memories intact. So, okay. you know, he resolves to live in this world the best that he can. That's yeah. how the story starts. Oh, okay, I understand. If you want to know more, just read the story. The visual novel, the the light novel, right? Yes. I, I, re I, re I recommend the manga, just so you can see, and it's like, <gasps> You know, just so, uh, uh, just so you know what they look like. Yeah. All right. Speaking of light novels, the only yeah, night yeah, yeah. novel I ever read, I can't believe I'm going to say this out loud, but was uh, Oriemo. That's the only night light novel that I ever read. And the main character for that, Kirino, is in Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax, which is finally coming to America. I need Are you proud of yourself? Did you see what I did there? <laughs> Are you proud of yourself? <laughs> no. Didn't think so. Oh, <laughs> uh, all right. Then Geki Bunko Fighting Climax is a game that I haven't really been excited for. Probably because there's only two fucking characters that I know in the game. Who's that one? But I know you guys know more. Oh, probably. <laughs> of course. Um, I have the list of playable characters like right in front of me, so I can list them off if you want me to. All right, go right ahead. <laughs> All right then. Uh, the list of playable characters are Akira Yuki from Virtual Fighter, Asuna from Sword Art Online, Kirito from Sword Art. Yeah, I know, right? Kirito from Sword Art Online, Kirino Kosaka from Ir from Oriemo. Oriemo, Ori I get my keep, fucking flags. Yeah. Keep in mind, I suck at pronouncing names because it's gonna get bad. Don't don't worry. Oh god. Kuri I can see the, uh, oh god. <laughs> Kuro Yuki Hime from Axel World. Mikoto Misaka from A Certain Magical Index. Miyuki Shiba from The Irregular at Magic High School. Rentaro Satomi from Black Bullet. Selvius Bless from Valkyria Chronicles. Really? If you, yeah, I know. I, I was well, surprised that's... too. <laughs> Shana from Chikoga no Shana. Shizuo Hime... Whatever, from Durarara. Taiga Ayas I don't care. It's Taiga Aisaka from Toradora. Tomoka yeah. Minato from Ryu Kyu That is the only thing here that I don't know. No idea what that is. And Yukina Himaragi from Strike the Blood. With with a long list of assist characters that I'm not going to read because there's too many and I don't care enough. Jesus Christ! I'm looking at the. I'm looking at it right now. Fucking shit! <laughs> I know that there's more. Like it's like double the assist characters. And it's double the playable <laughs> characters. I think it's tripping now. Uh, let's see. The only characters that I know is sadly Asuna from Sword Art Online. I can't wait to play as Kirino. She's. I'm gonna try to meet her because Oriemo, go. It's a song. It's an anime about incest, and I feel really bad watching it. I know. I have the game. I gave. I gave all you guys the fucking game. <laughs> what game? For PSP. Uh, the, yeah, the Oriemo game. <laughs> the only upside uh, yes. is you can yes. choose, so you don't feel as bad if you don't choose her. I yeah. was going for the girl with like the squiggly glasses, but whatever. <laughs> uh, let's see. I know Kiruto, sadly, because they're fucking seen sort of online. I like this, yeah. and I certain... see, like, I would know, like, nine-tenths of these fucking characters. Uh, Mikoto, I know from a certain size of a grill gun. I really like that show, so. Love it. Uh, fucking, uh, Sil uh, Silveria, I did, I was surprised year? that's in there. Yeah, I was shocked, I mean, wow. I didn't think that like Valkyria Chronicles was like was like still relevant. I know. I'm uh, probably gonna <laughs> honestly. I'm probably gonna try to main um, Silvera and I Rentaro. Twice, I it's probably who I'm gonna try to main. And then there's probably my second main Taiga from Toradora. <laughs> of course, the palm tub tiger. Yeah. Uh, 
You feel proud I of feel, yourself? I feel so, yeah, I feel fucking proud of fucking talking about... <laughs> it doesn't help what everyone fucking calls me. <laughs> yeah, you're Honestly, when I look at this, I, I call it waifu fighters. Waifu it, might fighters. As, it might as well be called that here in, in, uh, in America. <laughs> This is future, <laughs> but when this game comes out, you think maybe we should stream a few matches between us? Yeah, might as well. It's coming out for PlayStation 3 and Vita here in America. It's already out in Japan. <laughs> came so... out last November. <laughs> yeah, it came out in March in the arcades. Huh. Oh, wait. Ooh. Listen, yo, Fonzie. Yeah. If we do the stream thing, we have to name the video Waifu <laughs> Fighters. Okay. <laughs> like that will be the title of the video. All right, I'm okay with that. I never like no dudes. <laughs> and then, and then we got Jacob there as our the announce or, heat, whatever. Or just a random crowd in the background <laughs> yelling that's not in the game, but like in Destiny. Who wants to bet he's gonna still be playing Destiny? Probably. Twenty bucks. <laughs> actually, I'll bet. I'll bet. Actually, I'll bet on Alex's life. <laughs> and I cherish Alex's life. Not really, he's lying. <laughs> he has used me to check if traffic was safe. Speaking okay. of almost dying, Higurashi is coming for the Vita and PS3 in Japan. Oh, okay, well, for in Japan, I don't need that right now. It's, I never quite recovered from it here. <laughs> it's teased in America that in a... you can. It's actually on the... On uh, on Steam, it's actually hinted that uh, you can get it on Steam. If it comes to America, I don't think I'll, I'll be able to, to say no. And like the entire time, like I'm like I'm gonna just fuck myself up with this shit, like real bad. <laughs> okay, Higurashi, when they cry, Steam Edition Chapter One is not. It's gonna come soon in fucking in America. Ugh. Wonderful. Yeah, it doesn't say fucking when, but it, coming soon. If only if we have the money. It's How soon is soon? I don't is know, soon I think... like fucking Final Fantasy IV, uh, a 13 versus soon? Or Duke Nukem Forever soon. Who knows? <laughs> or Star Fox <laughs> 2 on the SNES soon. Uh, let's see. Let's see. How much? Uh, let's see. When was this Shona? Uh, when was. It was talked about in September 2012 was when they announced it for the for Steam. Yeah, he pays me to work on every Friday nights. Oh boy, that, <laughs> that's not a good sign. But yeah, Higurashi When They Cry is coming out to beat, uh, PlayStation 3 and Vita only in Japan right now. That's that's not fun. But uh, I do like I did like the anime. But god damn it, it's some of the shit that w that's in the anime. It's fucking kind of disturbing <laughs> Damn. I would imagine <sighs> Alfonso, are you happy about the editing that you're gonna have to do later oh, oh no I'm fucking ecstatic <laughs> I, I, I have I have work at 6 in the morning tomorrow and I have to fucking upload this right after we fucking finish yeah I'm totally happy question question is the static because on my side or is it because that's someone else's side it's because fucking Jacob is talking okay like like loudly yeah. Yeah. Note so to really self, do do podcasts in living room. Make sure to kick everyone out of li said living room. And get a it'll healthy snack. You, it'll be easier if you do it in the fucking bathroom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, no, because I have like two females in this house and plenty of guys. No. Enough said. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Anyway, speaking of killing things, uh, kill a kill. See what I did there? <laughs> I, I I don't get it. It should be Adult Swim. <laughs> it is technically Adult Swim. Toonami is Adult Swim right now. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. The English dub of Kill a Kill, which is something that I fucking... that I haven't fully seen. I've seen it in Japanese, and I fucking love this anime. I hate it how um, most of my wife who dies... And or I get pissed off and angry. <laughs> uh, let's see. Tsunami... It feels like Gurren Lagann. It pumps it you full of testosterone. 
Oh, the don't lose your way. <laughs> it was amazing. The fucking everywhere on the internet. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Stern's and then that was the constant joke of I guess he lost his way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this isn't Tsunami, a joke. Tsunami was, has been reduced to an hour less, so there's that. Yeah. Bye. Uh, starting next week, the schedule will be Dragon Ball Z Kai at midnight, Kill a Kill at 12.30, Naruto Shippuden. I can't believe Naruto's still a thing. Naruto's still a the, thing? I thought it was Inu over. Ya Inuyasha's still a fucking thing. I thought that was over too. I know. Apparently, Inuyasha, the final act. I have no idea what the fuck that is. It takes place after, like, the regular one, and it's, like, it's the final arc, basically. So that's the ending. Is it new, I, or, is, or is it, like, or is, uh, it, like, it came out thing? a few years ago. What the fuck? Yeah, um, I was gonna watch it, because I watched the entirety of the regular one. Never got around to it, and I, I don't really feel like watching it. Yeah, I'm really, I, uh, fucking, Inuyasha was everywhere in the fucking school. It wasn't fun. <laughs> Holy shit, Gurren Logan is also on fucking Toonami again. You didn't know that? No, I have. I don't fucking have cable anymore. Well, I have cable, but I don't have cable in my room. Oh, alright. Ah. I watch it sometimes, although I, I skipped episode 7. I'd rather because, watch it so... Uh, yeah, we know, we know. Never, for, never forget, best 8 episode anime of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what about Pooley Cooley? Oh, best six again, best six episode anime of all time. <laughs> uh, starting at two thirty, one piece. At three, Dead Man Wonderland. I thought that was over. Dead Man Wonderland. Why isn't there a second season? I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, Kill a Kill. Have you guys heard the dub yet or no? Or have you guys just seen the preview? I just saw the, the first episode. That's just it. The first episode already came out. It's uh, the whole. I think the DVD's out by now, right? I believe so. I mean, yeah. Is it just season one or both seasons? I think it's just season one. Let me just check up in here where all my anime, where I, you know, illegally. Uh, I'm gonna stop there. We should really like do this. Like we should really do these checks like before, so we're prepared. And again, it, it is fucking. Yep, one through it's nine. Almost... Okay, so just season one. The concealment goes down. How the jungle is still. Yes. God damn it, Jacob. I'm sorry. He's raging right now. I could tell. <laughs> and it doesn't, it doesn't even drop the, the, the throat. Yeah, make sure to go outside, because even there's their airplanes, it only comes once in a while. Have my Don't lose your way. <laughs> uh, so, out, out of all, Kill a Kill, the English dub, the best thing to come out of that, Patrick Schwitz is Gamagori, and then fucking... The guy who does Jin Kisaragi as Senketsu. I've seen like I've seen some of the videos of it, and it's really fucking good. I was surprised. I was surprised how good it is. Hmm. You gotta edit this out. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the viewers are gonna kind of know what I'm talking what we're talking about. Because there's a I'm lot sure. that's gonna be out of this. Yeah, lots of just fucking Jacob Probably talking. Yep. Yeah. Well, thankfully, I've been talking over it, so I can just cut just your <coughs> audio for a bit and then oh. add it later. Let me just grab the gold back. Right. Yep. Uh, that's why I try to stop talking a lot. So yeah, thank you for that. Thank you for that. All right. Should we end? Uh, we have the last news section. Uh, uh, it sucks because the news broke out today and it's really, really sad. <laughs> I should have bought the pins when I had the chance. The creator of Ruby, Monty Ohms, have passed away. Jesus fucking Christ, this fucking hurt me more than I thought it would. Ugh. It's. 
I right before we did this podcast, I watched the Rooster Teeth podcast of uh, Monty's uh, Monty's tribute. It was fuck uh, Jesus Christ! It the, the podcast was pretty pretty simple to listen to, but the fucking tribute video at the end, Jesus Christ! I I I fucking started breaking to tears. He, apparently, he was a really hardworking like person at Rooster Teeth. And I've been following Rooster Teeth since 2005 because I love watching them. Versus Blue. Yep. Uh, and then it's it's sad when you when you fucking you don't really know when someone behind the scenes like passes away. But the guy who created one of the coolest fucking westernized animes is gone. Now. Uh, fucking hell! It's Isaac. I'm gonna get on like repeated. Hello. Bitch. Is he, wait, are you? Did he call you, or was that yes. just a fucking? No, he called me with like in perfect timing. Oh, the, the irony is stunning. So, how do you guys get got into Ruby though? A friend of mine showed me a tra- um the red trailer back in high school. Oh yeah, shit. We were, we were in high school when fucking Ruby got announced. Yeah, shit. we were still in high school, and Damn. like you know, like and it was just it looked amazing and like actiony. So you know, after that, I was like, I'll look into this later. So then I would just watch as the new trailers came out, just just anticipating like the actual release of of the show. And when it did, I thought it was really well done. I mean, like I admit, Volume One, like some of the episodes were like really short, so that was. You know, yeah, but that was really my only complaint for the uh, 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 for the most part, and that was pretty much taken care of for volume two. I let's see, should I say how, how I come to Ruby? Yeah, yeah go right ahead. All right, let's see. Because of Alex, the end. <laughs> it was like so, the first trailer. That was it, and then it was like. <laughs> That was it. So, so the first time I heard about Ruby was in a was I was following Rooster Teeth. I think that, yeah, they were doing their Let's Plays by now. I think. And yeah, uh, I think it was at an RTX where I saw the first trailer of it. I, I saw it on YouTube, but yeah, and I was surprised how well done it was for for something that looked like it, it could have been more. Yeah. It, it made it through two seasons, and that's that's amazing for for the quality is amazing for for what's simply what? a web series that's pretty short. It's, a, it's really sad that we that we lost Monty because he was pretty damn cool. I've seen him in uh, other Rooster Teeth videos. I've seen him in the, the RT lives. They're fucking. Po- he's been on the podcast a couple of times. And it, it's sad that. A person that was making such awesome contact is now gone. Anyway, this is a this is on the rooster this is on the rooster Keith web page. This was written by uh, Matt, one of the uh, head people up there on uh, on Rooster Teeth. It says, uh, "Our friend, inspiration, and co-worker Monty Ohms passed away yesterday afternoon at 4:34 p.m. Surrounded by the people who loved him very much." Ten days ago, Monty suffered a severe allergic reaction doing a simple medical procedure that left him in a coma. Although he fought bravely, his body was not able to recover. During this time, in the hospital, he was well cared for and never in pain at any time. Monty is survived by his wife, Sheena, his father, Moni, and his brothers, Woody, Say, Shivy. And meets and his sisters Thea and Theory, like, right here, like, as well as countless number of fans and friends who were so proud of to be a part of his life, and we will miss him greatly. Shit. Uh, it's, it's still a damn shame. He's only thirty-three. Yeah. If if you guys are if, if whoever's listening to right now, there's a website where you can donate to uh, Monty's family. I already did, uh, and if you guys are, if anyone's interested, I'll put it in the description where you can donate. Because losing a fam- losing someone you care about is something really fucking.
bullshit. Especially okay. at someone as young as 33. <laughs> and I think I need to go down there. It's, oh my God, love this it's not fun age. losing someone you really care about at that young age. Ooh, there's like three guys here. Oh, I missed my so, shot. I missed my shot. If anyone, if anyone listening to this wants to donate, links in the description. <laughs> go right ahead. There's like three guys over there. I'm going to speak up behind me. Uh, I think we should have a moment of silence for Monty, you guys. Oh, yeah. let, let me just mute this because, you know. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. All right. Here's a moment of silence for Monty. Damn shame, though. It's a really big shame. Uh, it sucks because Ruby, as Ruby was a lot of my uh, commute through uh, through uh, through bus rides. Got when I when I got home, when I had those long days at work where I didn't want to do shit. Uh, so this is the end of this episode of uh, Anime Video Game Fun Time. Two weeks in a row, we've kind of ended in a sour note. And it's a damn Twice. Shame. Yeah. Hopefully next. Let's time we'll be not better. go three for three. Yeah. Uh, right. It's a damn shame that Monty passed away. I was really looking forward to the new Ruby stuff they were making, apparently. So it's a shame that they're gone. It's gonna end like M. M. It's a shame when like a, a a guy a person working on, on a on something and they're right in the middle of it and then, they ended up passing away. It's it's a shame when that happens. Cause it's because it's like a project that like will probably just never get finished unless they decide yeah. to carry it on themselves. Yeah, like when um. Uh, you know what? I think we should just end it right now. Yeah. All right then. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, everyone. Hopefully, next time it'll be happier. Yeah. It may not be a promise. Let's not so. let's not go off with that. All right. Yeah. yeah. Let's just hope for the best. Yeah. Next podcast, we're all gonna meet up. We're all gonna sit in around. It's gonna sound better. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully, there's no destiny in the background. <laughs> Honestly, I, I jumped off of Destiny and start playing Final Fantasy XIV. Oh my god. Alright, then, um, you know, we'll hopefully hey, Brian, we'll see you, you all next podcast. Alright. Take care. Bye, guys. Next time Bye, I'll everyone. be announcing in the... Alright. <laughs> Whatever. Later. Bye. Bye, everyone. Take care.